Okay, welcome back everybody. We're back over here on the wheel. I just wanted to demonstrate cross section of a plate. So that on there. So we've had the cross section of the cylinder, cross section of a bowl, and now I'm giving you the cross section of a plate. Sometimes when I'm doing the um, a plate, you've seen me with a needle and I just stopped the wheel gone like that some people may think oh that's unnecessary to do that and it involves having to stop the wheel well on a leech kit wheel I can stop the wheel like that and go again in three seconds so it's not a problem okay so anyway I'm pushing out the clay from the center steadily pushing it to the outside um, now it does help when you're doing plates to have the clay a little bit on the softer side now when I come to the outside of the, the plate or here, I tend to lift it, lift up the clay and make it because I like my plates to be slightly bowly. I don't like flat flat plates. I like to dip. Anybody else out there like to dip? Bit of bread, dip it in and soak up the the juices. Well, if you've got a flat plate, you can't put juices on it to start with. So. So we pull it up, have this very slightly bowly shape. Okay. Now, with a rib, okay, one of these, I sometimes use just to go across the bottom. I'm not creating the shape with the rib, I am just simply more or less clearing off the slurry and maybe just refining the shape a little bit there incidentally do be careful with these stainless steel type ribs they can get quite sharp and you, if you're not careful you can give yourself a nasty cut so but there are others that you can use ribs that are wooden. Alright, so there we have our plate. I'm now going to put the stick in underneath. Don't need to sponge out the centre because I've already put that uh, stainless steel kidney and that's cleaned it. Right. Okay, I'm now going to cut this. I'm going to cut it with a clean, clean wire. Clean the, the wire off in case there's dry bits on it. I'm going to pull it right across to cut it. Now I'm going to cut it halfway and then lift it up just to show you the cross section. Like that. Okay, now I'm 
I'll remove that half and you should be able to see the half that's left okay it shouldn't have lifted up it should be flat down like that okay now can you see that section maybe if I just bring the camera a little closer all right oops there we have it you see and there's enough here left to turn off the base is not too um, is not too thin at that point there um, it leaves enough to put it upside down and, and trim it all right let's put that back there okay folks I hope these these few short video clips on cross-section have helped you uh, what we're about is distributing the clay as it should be distributed in such a way that we end up with a plate a bowl a cylinder that is strong and um, not with a a clumping great thick heavy base and a flimsy thin top we don't want that neither do we want it the other way around with a wafer thin base and a, a thundering great rim okay folks that's it stay tuned soon we'll be back in Spain but meanwhile here we are at lower down pottery and uh, it's always good to come back to where I did my training and my apprenticeship under my father David Leach I was here from 1979 till 1984 for five years and uh, the old man he taught me a lot. Okay guys, we'll see you. Take care now.